And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Sejuani. It's a new deck that I just put together um, that you know has a bunch of mid range stuff going on for it, and um, you know we'll kind of see how it plays. I don't know if this will be absolutely the best deck or anything, but it's got some really cool interactions and can do some neat stuff, and that's what we're going with. All right, so basically what I wanted to do was build a deck with kind of around Averroes and Hearthguard pumping up the units in our deck and with Chronicler of Ruin and Avros and Hearthguard, you know, being able to kill the Hearthguard, whoops, bring it back and, uh, you know, again, give, give them plus one, plus one. And then also with Callista, because I wanted to have leveled up Callista, um, attack, put in the strongest dead allied follower, which would be the Hearthguard. <clears throat> and, you know, I wanted leveled up Callista to put in Avros and Hearthguard into play and then trigger it. I just thought that would be kind of fun. So I wanted to build like a Callista Hearthguard deck. So this is what we got. Um, you know, like we, we got some early stuff with Omen Hawk, Averroes, and Sentry. These are good units, good things for Chronicler of Ruin. And then Averroes and Trapper. This could be pretty sweet with Chronicler of Ruin also, because this is a summon trigger, right? So like, uh, you know, like that will make an Enraged Yeti. And then if, if we go turn three Trapper, turn four Chronicler, kill the Trapper, we get another Enraged Yeti. So that could be kind of cool. Kind of go with the Ruthless Raider as my other two mana card, um, just to, to be a little aggressive. There's some, you know, we could go with a, we could go with like Arachnoid Sentry, which is a, a three two with Fearsome, and I kind of felt like the three one Tough and Overwhelm was maybe better than Fearsome. Um, I'm not sure though. Um, that you know that that's another option, um, and I guess you could play like Starlet Seer um, on the two mana slot. We don't have tons of spells. I think Ruthless Raider fits in perfectly fine because you know we want to be aggressive in there and then of course we got our Callista, we got Sejuani at the top end because Sejuani is just super super powerful um we're curving into that and then we got a couple of rekindlers that can bring back Sejuani or Callista, and of course the chronicler of ruin with rekindler that's always fun um and then one harrowing at the top end because this this card can just do so much and then you got your interaction a couple of engines a couple of harsh winds a withering will a grasp a flash freeze it's possible to like depends on how aggressive the metagame gets it's possible the flash freeze should be a brittle steel um i'm just playing a flash freeze for now but uh yeah that that could maybe be a brittle steel also moving forward um yeah well i may i may change that here we'll play the flash freeze i may i may change that like right away to brittle steel we'll see well, let's go let's go play some games um yeah, I just didn't... I didn't really find room for Blighted Caretaker. Not really a Blighted Caretaker deck. Uh, it is good with Callista, but... I don't know. It's not... Um, we don't have, like... We don't always have, like, great targets to sacrifice. I did want... Okay, so since we are granting our allies plus one, plus one, I did want card draw. Like, I think Glimpse Beyond is an important card for us to have access to yeah like besides omen hawk and and avros and sentry there's just not really other things that i want to use um blighted caretaker on hey halva mm, no two drop oh well we'll have the mana for glimpse beyond available a lead with Trapper. I have to kill Trapper. I can just sack it to Glimpse Beyond. It's Glimpse Beyond's a good card against Ezreal. Keep those um, that Ezreal counter low. Joke debate. They're probably like, "What's going on?" All right, one mana, five, five. Yeah. That fit the curve pretty well. Okay. 
Still not bad. Ooh, I like having that Elixir of Iron. That's also good against Ezreal dot deck. And now we're about to have a one mana 6-6. Six, six. Um Yeah. The main question is if we'll just go straight if we should go straight to attacks or if we should play one of these things. I kind of want to play stuff out. It's kind of weird, but like they they kill like my enraged yeti, but I sack it and we draw another. You know, we draw the six six. So we'll have the six six and the two two and the four three that we can play all of those. Um, I kind of think because like if I didn't have glimpse beyond, we'd go straight to attacks. I think I just do this. We don't have to worry about Yone. If they're if they're going like the stun three two, you know we sacrifice. They don't get the three two. All right. Well, I'm sacking the, the five five. They don't get the three two to block. All right. We're gonna let that one happen. I'm gonna play Callista and the six six. I guess technically seven seven now. Even better. What did we catch? And game? Nah, sixteen. Close to game. Yeah, that was the that was the good play. That was the good play. I'll never miss you. Pain is nothing. Keep their targets down. Keep my card draw up. Have a Rosen Trapper. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, this time we can just go right to attacks. <laughs> yeah, Ezreal forgot, Ezreal forgot the coat. Too cold. To tear your breath away. You're between me and glory. Well, they're trying. GG. Alright, good win there for Spooky Sejuani. Avros and Trapper being gone. awesome. Face me, coward! Alright, you know what? Let's let's go brittle steel. Yeah, let's go let's go brittle steel. We do have for I would, you know I'm kind of worried about the large units, but we do have harsh winds and vengeance for large units. Let's just go the mana efficiency of brittle steel over the flash freeze. I'm gonna edit the deck list. Spooky Sejuani. Oh, this is this is tough. Whenever I was playing this earlier, this was a match by loss because they just, you know, this is a kind of similar deck, but they just go a lot bigger. And that is a problem. Do I even want Avaros and Sentry? Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah. I I'll play against Karma Ezreal all day with this. Ooh, that's a good one, though. 
That's a good one. So I like leading with Ruthless Raider because doesn't die to Vile Feast. They're sitting there with their Vile Feast. I don't know, maybe I'll switch to Mulligan Sentry. I don't know. Quite a bit of ramp. Quite a bit of ramp. So I got seven mana now. Something ancient. So do I, if we play Sejuani next turn, uh, do we challenge Egg Nivea? Or do we challenge one of these Weirding Stones and try to kill these Weirding Stones? Um, I guess it's the Egg. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by! This will overwhelm and still do damage. It didn't die to Withering Whale. The two one died to Withering Whale. Dang. We literally just played a deck with three War Mothers Call and I didn't cast a single one. They get to play one on turn seven. I'm sad. Hail, War Mother! Drive them before us, Era. Yeah, GG's. Look out for Reavers. I I would prefer not to play the Ruthless Raider, Raider before this, but I was too worried. Oh man, see, yeah, I would have been able to play that. I was too worried for of them just like if I just don't do anything and then they just pass the turn back to me. And so I wanted to, elite, so I felt like I had to play that, but ideally I would have not played that. And yeah, then I would have had the Grass the Undying available for that Anivia. Eternal winter. Yeah, War Mothers is just a GG card. We're gonna move on. That's tough. We're a little too slow for them. They they had a, a great hand though. You know, like double weirding stones. That was amazing. And then obviously, obviously, anytime you can have turn turn five Anivia, turn seven War Mothers call. It's pretty great. In turn five, Anivia. Turn six, Harsh Winds. Turn seven, more Mother's Call. Not really beating turn seven, more Mother's Call. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, definitely keeping one Trapper. I'm going to keep the other one also. We're going to keep these Trappers. Play. We got the Avarosen deck. We got Avarosen Sentry, Avarosen Trapper, Avarosen Hearthguard.
Well, maybe if I just didn't play that thing, I guess Withering Whale would be looking pretty good right now if I would have had the mana for it. But I don't have the mana for it. I'm what nightmares fear. I don't know, you just look like Senna to me. Missed a chance to run. Sentinel of Light. It's a pretty cool title. Should be getting one mana five five. With the help of that card draw, no, no one mana five five. We're gonna make them um, six sixes. It's gonna be pretty sweet of, you know, like, Chronicler, kill this, get another Yeti. Like, we're gonna be drawing some Yetis here and really being be able to help stabilize fairly quickly. I can either go Withering Whale plus Yeti or Chronicler Yeti. Go ahead, scare me. That's Withering Whale. scary um that is scary Sorry. There's just some kids out playing. And Harvey's not a big fan of that. Of the woods. There's nothing like it. Hmm. So I'm going to attack with the 6-6. Six, six. I think we're just going to do that and kind of see what happens. Let's do that. Let's let's attack here and see what happens. Hey, Lens Hunter. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for the scary dogs. <laughs> okay, Gecko. What you can do. Take the damage. Cool. All right, now, what am I doing? Do I play Callista first? Callista or Chronicler of Ruin? We'd go Chronicler on the 3-3. Three, three. Or Callista. Obviously, I wouldn't mind Callista dying because of Rekindler. And we, could, we can save Chronicler for Rekindler. 
I think maybe we do that. It's a lot of mana. Maybe it'd be better just to get more... More one mana five fives. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try Callista. Basically, the problem with going with the Callista, though, is this turn. Because if I'm not playing Rekindler, then I don't really want to play the Chronicler for it. So then I, I just have, like, a lot of wasted mana this turn. So it's like we're probably going the Rekindler. And if that's the case, um, you know, it just does, doesn't... You know, I can't Rekindler after this because I don't have the room. These words belong to us. It's kind of messy. I'll pass. If they want to pass back to me, that's cool. That's cool. 5-1 challenge, 1-1. One, one. Huh. Discard Relentless Pursuit. Uh, maybe I should just be playing Enraged Jetty. Tread carefully. I probably should have just been playing Enraged Jetty. Cause now another Relentless Pursuit. Yeah, like, if they just have Relentless Pursuit in hand, if I go Rekindler, it's pretty annoying. I have to double chump block. That's two triggers for Callista, and then I Chronicler the Rekindler, and then I have two leveled up Callistas. So actually, that's not bad. They can have another Relentless Pursuit. That's not bad. Oh, no. That is bad. Hmm. Now it's a party. Well, if they just draw two units, I win if I just attack. They only have three blockers. No, I don't win. They block the th they don't block the three three. Yeah, they just go block, block, block. They take seven. Oh man, that was, that was not good for me. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now. I'm through waiting. The guarantee will suffer. Yeah, I think I still attack out because their way of surviving is going down to one and Jinx dying. You're starting to bore me. So I think that's still worth an attack. Oh man, are you kidding me? Stay still. I'm trying to shoot you. Stand down. Oh, I just I just outsmarted myself with this game. If I just don't if I just don't worry about Rekindler and just play Enraged yet, if I just keep on going what what I was doing the whole time, I just tried to get cute with the Rekindler. That was if I yeah, I mean that was just me getting too cute with Rekindler. I certainly could have won that game. Why did I count count that as a win? That. Would, Just 
I should have just kept on doing what I was doing. I should not have played the Callista. I should have played Chronicler of Ruin on the 3 3. Keep playing the, the one mana 5 fives. Keep going with the Yetis. You know, if I get another 5 5 in there, they don't get to make that attack. They can't attack. And yeah, I, I could have easily won that. I just try to show off Rekindler plus Chronicler of Ruin instead of doing the best against aggro. And so, yeah, I got punished for that. Uh, no, it's not like, it's not like my opponent had no, I mean, even if, even if that attack would have gone through and they would have gone to one like we hoped, they still could have easily just drawn another Jinx and played like something else and played another Jinx and then killed me. Or a burn spell. Um, you know, they could have just drawn a Mystic Shot, drawn a Get Excited, drawn a Jinx. It was a very bad chance that we were actually going to be able to um, this land win is from there. Was a very, very rough chance that we were going to win. Very unlikely. Stop. Stop. Not going outside yet. Grizzled Ranger is rough. That hurts. That definitely hurts. Basically making it I don't know. Maybe I'm too worried about Radiant Guardian. I don't want them like attacking with like that Grizzled Ranger. On their turn five, I block it, I kill it, they play Radiant Guardian. Okay, we got leveled up Callista. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Brings back Averrozen Sentry. Never mind. We shall return. We shall return. Not too worried about um, Raiding Guardian now with Finding Vengeance. Let the light guide you. No surprise there. Oh, that's true. It'd be the 3 1 that we just killed with. It'd be the Ruthless Raider. Right. Yeah, just look at it and play, thinking this didn't die, but yeah, just, it just. Yeah, we, we literally just killed it with the Chronicler of Ruin. <laughs> so yeah, it would be that. You will be scoured from this land! A fight. Don't, 
I guess... I guess the Chronicle of Ruins better than Ruthless Raider. Hope burns on. Virtue guides me. Yeah, and I'm I'm definitely okay with them playing Radiant Guardian, tapping out, letting me kill the Lux. That's not as scary. That's not as great. Hey, Gecko. GG's. Man, I want to play... Alright, so Rekindler brings back the 3-1. You know, Callista brings back the 3-1. <laughs> we don't like Rux. <laughs> Sorry. We don't like Lux around these parts. That's what it definitely seems like. Oh, come on. The light follows. Stop. We each died, then found hope. I just feel like that's a missed call. And if that's a missed call, if I block and they go miss call rekindler, that would be a complete disaster. Let's just take some damage. Use our life total for a resource. Oh, that's lame. Why would I why would I block Lux? Just, Lux has a barrier. Hey, what, what would you want me to block Lux to? With like why? Stand and fight. Just kill my own stuff for no reason. Oh, kill it with- oh, block- oh, you only have block with Rekindler, so then Callista would bring Rekindler. Oh, I guess that would make sense. Oh. Alright, fair, fair, that would make sense. I forgot about the Callista thing. I was just thinking about, like, Miss Call with, with their thing. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Act now? What, like this toll free number? It feels like a sales call. Act now. You only have 15 minutes to redeem your free 3 1. Honestly, maybe I should have harsh winds just before attacks, and they couldn't block Callista at all. I 
I guess we got that out of their hands. Um, this is not lethal. I just... I mean, Fury of the North is lethal. But they, they still have 7 mana. I just don't think I should Fury of the North them still having 7 mana. So he's certainly hoping that they would play something. Single combat. I don't know, something that made me not worried about vengeance, anything like that. We are not necessarily favored right here. Oh, come on. This is a honestly a very bad turn for me. Them hitting that. This is a like as as bad as this turn could go. Them hitting that and uh, me drawing Omen Honk. What's up, Nisa Twenty? That's a card that Lux probably really likes. Man, I wish like whenever we kill Lux four times, the Lux actually stays dead. That would be nice. There goes Callista. This is why we. This is why I kept not playing Rekindler and Vengeancing Lux. Is that card quite good? I killed my Sejuani for free, and now kill Callista for free. Quite good. All right, let's mess some folks up. For justice and all things bright. Time to get rowdy. survivors. Not great. Ride onward. Certainly wish they did not have 
that radiant you know really wish they didn't hit radiant guardian with that remembrance that was such a killer remembrance getting radiant guardian and also killing my sedrani killer No, Grasp doesn't... Shouldn't... Cause they, they'll still gain 5 life with Radiant Guardian, so they still go to 9. And then we do uh, 3 damage to them, so we put them down to 6. Grasp just deals 2 damage, we put them down to 6. Can they block with Lux? We could kill Lux. I won't stand by. Oh, I should I should grasp that. No, because then I don't gain three life if I grasp. We need to gain that life. So otherwise, Final Spark will kill us. Hopefully they're out of spells. Let's be out of spells. No. Let's be out of spells, please. Yay. Interesting. Interesting. Join the conflagration. Let's have this rekindler die. No, don't have spells. Ooh, six five. Clutch. Problem is we know that's a spell, which means they get a final no, no matter what it is, they get a final spark. play this, they get to final spark it, but then I get to play it straight away. It's probably worth it. It forces Lux to block. We play Hearthguard first. No, we don't. Because they they can just play something else that blocks Callista and then Lux blocks Hearthguard Hearthguard. No, they have to They have to block with this. I mean they they can block the Rekindler and keep Lux alive. Okay, they're gonna do that. Unfortunately Rekindler doesn't put the Sejuani into play attacking. That'd be nice if it did, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way. Ooh, that was a good draw for them. No more Lux. Oh. I mean, I guess I have larger things, but still. Yeah, I guess I have larger things. That's not a bad... That's not a big deal. We can deal with that. Dude, this game is so tense. No, that was a bad draw. 
Oh no, that was a great draw! Oh my gosh. Oh. Hail, War Mother. Drive them before us, Ira. That lets them kill like Sejuani if they want, or they get to kill one of my champions. Stand strong. Man, that that glimpse beyond. What a draw! You know, just getting the, all these cards. Uh, I gotta block both of those. Well, I guess. Yeah, I only have to block this thing. We march. Man, what a... Man, what a Vanguard Sergeant. That was a great card. Love to still have Callista in play, get another, you know, get another Sejuani. They can just block with Radiant Guardian. Now Thresh. Is that five out of six? They should still have another Lux in their deck. I mean, with all the Rekindler Luxes that they got. Oh my gosh. That's probably just game. Yeah, because I mean, they, they pull something here. I mean, we have to draw a spell. Yeah, they they ripped some great cards. While, while we drew two... two Two crappy two drops. They ripped some great cards. Blech. Yep, now put another Lux into play. They top deck better than us. Yes, Jinx Draven Aggro is a good deck. Yep. Did you see us play that yesterday, Prosana? It was a good deck. Um, I did the list in here has Mystic Shot over Suit Up. I do think Mystic Shot's better. In the video, we played Suit Up. There's the video of the deck. Right there. Keep Brittle Steel. We need cheap units. Brittle Steel is good at trading. This is probably just Noxus, you know, like Noxus aggro that's splashing Vi. That's my guess. Not the best, just the Omen Hawk. Rekindler too slow. Good, good. Ruthless Raider, perfect. And honestly, it's probably better to have our like three drops right here on top for Omen Hawk anyway than in our opening hand. So that's probably just smart by me, just keeping the three drop right there. Or the two drop in this case. Smart, get it Omen Hawked. I got the kids. Um, I guess I would rather have pickpocket trade with that 3-1 than this 4-2. Hey, stat. You're welcome, Persona. The Winter's Claw Strikes! So to be fair, we had lethal twice if we had gone for it when we had the chance. I don't I don't think that's really fair. Cuz I don't think it was the best decision at the time to go for it. So I don't I don't think that's a fair statement. That's not a good prepositional phrase. Is that a prepositional phrase or whatever that is? In front. 
And I, I still don't, I, I still don't know if we have lethal whenever we could have. You know, I, they still had a lot of cards in hand. Didn't really see. The Winter's Claw. My favorite region combination. Probably Freljord and Bil and uh, Demacia. I really like Freljord Demacia decks. That's probably my favorite. But I'm somebody who like I play everything and I, I kind of appreciate everything for what it is, so I I'm happy with all of them, to be honest. But I'd say that's probably the region combination that I have. Enjoyed the most. Um, get Challenger or Frostbite together. Now, basically, Brittle Steel would have saved the 3 1. Um, I kind of want to you know, see if we can maybe take down like a Draven with the Brittle Steel. Something else. Let's reset Omen Honk. You think they didn't have an answer for the, on the second one for sure? Are we for sure? I mean, I guess. I mean, I'd have to go back and watch the tape. I I don't I don't know for sure. You know, like with that Fury of the North. Didn't they play like a single combat like r r pretty shortly after that? Which I guess a single combat would, uh, yeah, single combat would have saved them, cause, right? Would it? No, because it was ruthless raider. Yeah, and so so yeah, the one one couldn't kill ruthless raider being a three one by single combated like the, you know, either one. Um. So yeah, I like like Brittle Steel more than Frost. Yeah, you know, that's that's a good change over the Flash Freeze. That Brittle Steel is nice. They still could have had like I don't know if they had Vision. I guess they would only gone up to two power, and with the tough would not have killed the Ruthless Raider. I'm attacking immediately because of Vi. I don't want to play the Avros and Trapper and then they play Vi and then I don't get to attack. Yeah. That's 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 fair, Valerian Blade, yeah. The maybe it wasn't the to be fair, but yeah, you're just look going back looking and seeing what we could have done differently. Take from the rich, give to me. I I feel like one of one of the first times I killed Lux, I think like they were tapped out on their turn and it was about to be my turn, and I think I should have played Rekindler there, and then I because I had level I think it would have brought back leveled up Callista, I believe, and I could have played Rekindler and then attacked immediately and then still had um you know still had the mana for the I think it might have been the first Lux. It was either the first or the second Lux, you know, and then I would have had the the mana for um the vengeance if they tried, you know, if they played whatever spell, I still could have done that. Um I think that I think that was a, a big mistake that I made in that game that I guess I, I didn't really mention as we went through the game. But I think I I think it was the turn they I think it was whenever they re yeah, it was whenever they went um, Rekindler, Lux, and then I just went Vengeance on the Lux. I should have gone Rekindler also, and then untapped and still had Vengeance and gone straight to attacks. Uh, am I playing Sejuani? Sejuani? Sejuani. Yes, I am. Carved from the Savage Cold. Yeah, we've had uh, some really long games today. Like all, all of our decks have been an hour plus. I, 
I like our deck. I think it's pretty sweet. It's, you know, like we haven't necessarily, you know, like we haven't really won these games, but we're right in there. They're super close. One, you know, definitely one of those games I should have won the other game against the aggro deck if I, if I would have played differently. That was certainly winnable. Like, this is pretty sweet. Rekindler Sejuani back. You don't get that play trigger, but you still have a super powerful Sejuani. Yeah, last turn. On me. I just, I don't know if it's... I liked getting the Sejuani in play because of Rekindler, basically. That's that's why I liked playing the Sejuani the previous turn. But yeah, we could have gone Omen Hawk and then held up Harsh Winds uh, to be able to respond to a Spinning Axe on Draven. I'm not guaranteed they would be going that Spinning Axe on Draven. This is a little bit of a weird block, right? They could have had this 3-2 block the 4-3 and killed it, but decided not to. And they just put everything at 2. Are they playing like Avalanche or something? Seems like a pretty precise... Yeah, I guess, yeah, they want everything out of 3 health for Draven attacking. Maybe. You have, to, you have to type the word card first. Card. Evo. Meow. 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 That was subversible. I could see subversible doing a bunch of work in like this super fast aggro deck. Like if they're able to play a bunch of different cards because all they're discarding and stuff, you get a five-five elusive. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And it also replaces itself. Let's do this. Some more card draw. Am I playing Rekin or am I playing Callista or Omen Hawk? I guess Callista. I'm somebody who loves getting that Omen Hawk value, but I guess we're just getting Callista and attacking. Hmm, interesting. I wish we had more room with Rekindler, <laughs> where we could Chronicler Rekindler. But none of our stuff's dying. Ooh, I like that. Could be good. Combo. Man, combo.
All right, should be another two, three. Earth guard. GG's. Pretty fun deck to play. I don't, I don't think it's perfect, but it's pretty sweet. It's pretty fun. I mean, that was a two three that really should have been a three two. You know, like I, you know, one of those games, um, I just got enthralled by trying to do rekindler chronicler, and it cost me the game. And I could have definitely won if I would have just kept going a trapper and a trapper and rage jetty like that kind of stuff. Definitely could have won one of those. Um, so, you know, like, you know, you'd be looking at a 3-2 differently than a 2-3. And then, you know, so then there's the 3-2. And then and then we had that other one that was just a top deck war where we were we were ahead with um, we had Callista, Sejuani in play. And, uh, you know, like we, we were ahead in the but then they just top decked a lot better than us. You know, like they just had, they just did great with their top deck war. Um, you know, that one could have very, very easily been a win. We were we were favored at at the point where we started, where we were both empty handed. Basically we had Callista um, plus Sejuani in play, both leveled up. They had two, then they had nothing and they were drawing two random cards um, and they ended up winning it. And I guess, I guess I also had a card in hand too. So yeah, so like that definitely could have been a win. But yeah, so pretty sweet. Um, I, I liked it. Um, yeah, I think there's I think there's a lot of potential here too. Uh, maybe it's not perfect. You know, never drew you know like those long games. Never drew harrowing. I don't know if we're supposed to play a second harrowing. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to have like one ruination in here. I don't know. There's there's so many cards you can play. You know, that's I say that kind of every deck because <laughs> that's the great part about this game. But um, yeah, I like that I like the Avros and Trapper plus Chronicler of Ruin combo. Like that was pretty sweet. Um, you know, we didn't get to do Hearth Guard plus Chronicler too much. Um, and yeah, maybe against, against the Lux deck, I definitely think I could have won that. You know, if I would have made a different block with Rekindler earlier, as we talked about, you know, it was, they didn't have Miss Call. I should have traded Rekindlers. If I would have traded Rekindlers, then Callista would have brought back Rekindler. Um, yeah, I, I think I could have won that Lux game. Um, Babbling Bjerg could be nice. Yeah, that would be nice to find room for a Babbling Bjerg. You would draw, what, Sejuani and Hearthguard? Or if Trapper makes the Enraged Jetty, you draw that. Babbling Bjerg with Chronicler of Ruin is pretty good. You probably have to cut... I don't know where you'd find room for a Babbling Bjerg. You may have to just, like, trim a Hearthguard to play a Babbling Bjerg kind of thing, because then you draw your Hearthguard anyway. Uh, maybe trim a Rekindler or something. Um, but yeah, that, that is, that's, that's a pretty cool combo as well. Yeah, or leveled up Callista. The interaction spells aren't the best, you know, Grasp, Withering Whale. It's just like, it just, you feel like you should have a Grasp in there or a Withering Whale. Vengeance is expensive, but kind of necessary. Maybe, like, if, if the metagame does, if it is, you know, if there's more and more of, like, those kind of, like, Draven, Jinx, aggro decks and stuff. We could definitely start trimming on on Vengeance and getting a little bit lower because, of course, you could play like Vile Feast, but I'm not that big into Vile Feast. Um, Fury of the North, you know, another great card in this kind of deck. Um, you know, I, I kind of you know I wanted a Fury of the North in here. It's just hard hard to fit everything. If if there are more aggro decks and stuff, I'd play more Brittle Steels. That card's amazing against like the Draven Jinx kind of decks, as we saw in that last game. So, you know, we'd be basically, you know, you basically kind of go from Vengeance to playing Brittle Steel, just go on the opposite end of the spectrum. So that's a way to, to keep the deck tuned if you're playing against a lot of aggro. Um, and then, yeah, you, you could play one Ruination, one Vengeance. I definitely thought about doing that, decided to go the two Vengeance, but that's, that's something that I was definitely debating between, and I don't know if two Vengeance is better than one plus a Ruination. I don't know. Um... If, yeah, you know, I absolutely feel free to try it with, you know, try it with one Ruination, one one Vengeance. Get back to me. You know, I, I always I always love hearing um, feedback on the deck. So, like, you know, y'all on YouTube, whenever y'all try these decks, leave the comments down below. Let me know, um, you know, if you're trying out different cards that are working really well, let me know what you're trying, what's working out, why, that kind of stuff. 
Um, you know, it's, I can't try everything, <laughs> basically. So yeah, if you got ideas, I'm all ears. Why is that a saying? I'm all ears. It's not, I don't know. I, I would, I will listen and, um, you know, take it under advisement. <laughs> All right. But anyway, that's it here for Spooky Sejuani. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you for the next video.